Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here. Just want to do a quick little video to show you my solution for the end of line Chromecast audio, which I've got lots of, but you can't buy them anymore, and they're going for like a hundred dollars on eBay, crazy pricing. Um, so I bought this little mini HDMI audio splitter, and what we've got there is I've got a um, TV. Uh, power supply cord standard figure 8 which has got two USB ports on it and one of those is powering a traditional um, I think this is a second gen Chromecast and you've got the HDMI audio cable coming into the splitter and then out of the back end of the uh, HDMI audio splitter you've got uh, coaxial audio you've got HDMI out which actually doesn't need to be connected and you've got optical out and on this side, you've got a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio analog audio jack. So uh, I've just tested that, and it's working really, really well. So you can cast to it and have the audio come out of here. I've tried the uh, my amplifier is actually only digital. I haven't tried the analog, but I've tried the coax and the uh, Toslink um, optical. Works really good. I would say that the dynamic range is just a little bit down on a Chromecast audio and the high frequencies are a little bit cut off. Um, but other than that, it's actually um, quite a good solution. And these units are about, oh, off the top of my head, about eight, eight US dollars, something like that. Um, so yeah, you pair that with a Chromecast. One advantage you do have with this scenario is that you can cast from the youtube app um to this and get the audio playing to your device and that's something you can't do on a chromecast audio youtube the youtube app itself won't see a chromecast audio only chromecast um so a little benefit there of uh, the solution so cost effective uh, way to get around the uh, end of life of chromecast audios thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends if uh you think they might need a solution. Cheers.